listen up. It's just in. All the gossip. gossip. The rumor report. Gossip. gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The, the Breakfast Club. But Angie Martinez' is show, Untold Stories of Hip Hop, debuts tonight on hey. TV at 10 p.m. Nice. Dropping a clue so, for Angie Ma. Tonight. You can hear Cardi B tell her stories, and she did tell one story that we have for you right now. There's a lot more on the show, but listen to what she had to say about being sexually harassed at a photo shoot. I will never forget how I went to shoot for this magazine, and like the photographer, he was just like trying to get close to me. I'm like, yeah, you want to get in this magazine? And he pulled his d- out. <gasps> I was so mad, and it's just like, this is crazy. How do you handle it? I was like, bugging. I'm out. And you know what's so crazy? I told the magazine owner, and he just looked at me like, so, and? Wow. Jesus Christ, I bet you won't say no and, or so and now. Well, yeah, Angie Martinez did ask her if she still experiences anything like that at this stage, and she said, oh, hell no. Hell no. I'll put you on blast on my Instagram, so. Yeah, and not only that, I mean, that, that is the beauty of the, the Me Too Times Up movement, right? They, they, they made men shift their whole perspective on things mm-hmm. in a lot of ways. Culture had to change because culture was trash. All right, now Takashi 6 9 his sentence is going to be determined today. So get your mouth ready, Charlemagne, because the prosecutors <laughs> might say that his cooperation is enough to sentence him to time served. So we don't know what's going to happen yet. He's facing 47 years, but after taking the stand, he could get out as early as next year or do, maybe even time served. Do we have that audio, Charlemagne? First, saying first of all, let's, let's, put this in, let's, put, let's put this in context. When Take I, some when, more water. Let's put this in context. When I made this Wet. statement, put, somebody, it in, put it in there. Y'all going to let me talk or y'all going to keep talking? <laughs> when I made this statement, somebody said to me that Takashi 6 9 is not going to get no jail time. He's not going to have to go to court. He's not going to have to do nothing. And mm. I was like, you are bugging. Because clearly this person... Uh, isn't from the environment we're from to know what Takashi was facing. So I said this. If Takashi 6 9 beats this case, I'll suck his dick. And let's be clear. No, talk about, talk about, talk about, talk about. Listen, words matter. He didn't beat a case. He didn't beat a case. He cooperated. He didn't beat his case, people. But y'all yeah. stupid, so you he know. Now, nah, we'll take y'all to beat the case. He won't, won't have to beat nothing words. after this. Y'all don't, y'all don't care about <laughs> words. Nah, we don't care about words with this I'm going to tell you something, though. If I was Takashi, I wouldn't hide from nothing. I would really test this era and see how lame but and corny it is. that's what he's doing. Is. My first day out, I would do a freestyle over the firm phone tapped, and then I'd drop another freestyle over Nas. It ain't hard to tell. All right, well, Takashi 6 9 is not planning to go into witness protection. For what? And he has rejected that program as soon as he's a free man again. So I'm dropping a freestyle over Nas. It ain't hard to tell. And by tell, I mean tell on you. He's going to have <laughs> he's going to have okay. around the clock security. What's wrong with you? And Wait, that's what he says. Please. How? He and said he, he says he does it. plan that his music career is going to take off again. He still has, said he has some money. So he's going to have. And, and the they security. do have a Takashi 69 docuseries that's about to go on Snapchat. It's being produced by Complex. On Snapchat? Yes, on Snapchat. Oh, yep. You're right. They what do you mean a docuseries? Yeah, it's a docuseries. They're interviewing people and they're talking about the case and what happened. And I think it's something that's going to happen on Snapchat. They asked me to, if I would. Oh, so it don't got nothing to do with Takashi. Yeah, no, it doesn't. No, it's the on Takashi. And everything. No, no, no. I mean, he's not involved no, he, I don't with think it. He's, he's not involved. getting any money from We don't know if he's any money or not. I don't no, think so. They asked, I, they asked me to be a part yeah, of that, too. too. No, it's just like a talking head thing where we're talking about yeah. the case and the impact it had on hip-hop. Yeah, did you do it? No. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, congratulations I'll to pass. Cassie. She got married. So congratulations. Her congrats. and Alice Fine. Congrats, congrats, They got married congrats. Wednesday, yesterday in Malibu. And director Peter Berg officiated, and there you go. So they're expecting their first child together. They got engaged in August, August 27th, and now they're married. So congratulations. All right. Uh, Terrence Howard, let's talk about him. He was on the Late Late Show with James Corden, and he was talking about uh, a lot of different things, about Jesse Smollett no longer being on Empire. Here's what he said. So it's like now he was the heart of our show, and now it's like our show is on um, a, a heart and lung bypass machine because the heart is gone, but we're still hoping that there's going to be a transplant and hoping somehow it'll come back together. Was Jesse the heart of Empire? Well, according to him, he said, you know, that's how the show really started off, with him taking his four-year-old son and putting him in the trash can because he wore high heel shoes down the stairs. And I, I would think that Taraji P. Henson is the heart of Empire. I would think that Cookie was the, the straw that was stirring that drink. Jesse? Well, I'm just telling you what Terrence Howard said. Mm. All right. I um, say Taraji. All right. Now, he also, uh, as you know... This is crazy. You're going to put that... Yes, we are going to talk about... The comments that he made on the red carpet interview that he did at the Emmys. Here's that interview. 
I've made some discoveries in my own personal life with the science that you know Pythagoras was searching for. I was able to open up the flower of life properly and find the real wave conjugations that we've been looking for for 10,000 years. Why would I continue you know walking on water for tips when I've got an entire generation to teach a whole new world? <laughs> it went on from there but he also did say in this interview last night he said I'm dead serious as far as retiring he said I'm so dumb at pretending to be people I just want to be real for a minute why do people think that was crazy what he said on the recovery know, people didn't understand what he was talking That's what I'm saying. about just it because, was very just, long yeah, just because I have no idea what he's talking about doesn't mean he's crazy I just now, need to google some of the things he said he also said that he was debating not bathing for a month to discover himself you don't think that's crazy as well what debating not bathing yeah what if he discovers himself he discovers himself. Is it crazy? You're always knocking something because you don't know what it is. But what if that actually works? Not bathing for a month? If it helps him discover himself, I don't know what he's trying to discover. But... Sounds like I'll get jacket. All right, Nick Cannon is planning to host his very own daytime show. Right now, he's already hosting The Masked Singer on Fox and, of course, Wildin' Out. And he has uh, got his radio show as well. But he's planning to host and produce a new nationally syndicated talk show. Dropping the clues bonds from Nick Cannon. Yes, here's what he said. You guys know that I had the amazing opportunity to, to fill in for Wendy. She let me come here and be with you all. And I fell in love with it so much that now talk I, show. I got my own talk show. Started in 2020. So I got this plan in my head, right? This has never been done on television before. I say, I'm just trying to stick as close to Wendy as possible. So if Wendy come on and then I come on right after Wendy. Two hours of funny. There you go. All right, well, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report. Well, Nick Cannon's getting all the checks, but this is why you should never invest in Nick Cannon and do morning radio, okay? <laughs> you don't think he could do it all? He could do, he could do it in L.A. Ryan Seacrest does it. And eventually... Uh, he could do it in L.A. He could do a morning right. and thing. Yeah, and Ryan Seacrest does it. He could do it. Now, he would have to come here uh, because of the time zone. He definitely would have saying, to come here. You know? He would have to come here because in New York, he would have to, to get the, the time uh, ahead, and then he'd and have Steve to And Steve Harvey was doing it. Yeah. He could do it. Yeah. Just what? because your name is on the show don't mean that you're there. All right. Well, I'm Angela I'm saying, Yee, and that is your A lot of feelings. Salute, salute, it is a lot of Steve Harvey. That's all I'm saying. You got enough of your time. You're all in the back of up. Yeah. 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 Nick yeah. on there by itself. That's all I'm saying. So maybe he'll have a co-host on there or something. We don't know Ryan. Yet. Yeah. Could be a lot of voice tracking. I'm just saying. <laughs> Okay, but it still might work. You know, he's going to make it Well, happen. congratulations to Nick Cannon, yeah. man. Congratulations, congratulations to Nick, Nick Cannon. Cannon. All right, Revolt, we'll see you tomorrow. 